What's up guys? In today's video I'll be going over the changes and new features in Apple's newest software iOS 5.1. Now this isn't a very big update, there's some minor changes, but I wanted to go over those and show you guys. And this goes for iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad users. And unfortunately I do not have an iPad, so this will be more of an announcement and I'll just tell you guys the information and support of pictures along the way. But anyways, with that said, let's jump right in and get started. Alright, so first off, the biggest change that you guys will probably see right at the start is how you access the camera on the lock screen. It is no longer a double click and then the button will pop up and you hit the camera button right there to access it. Now it'll just stay there all the time and you just tap it and simply slide up and you will it'll jump you right into your camera. And this I've noticed that this uh, loads up a lot faster than the um, older version of just tapping the button to access it. There was a little bit of lag, but now it is almost instantaneously, and I really like that. So yeah, a new way of accessing the camera on your lock screen. Next up, a change that you guys will probably be very happy to know of is that you can now delete individual photos from your photo stream album. And this will delete it across iCloud and all of your devices. Just go ahead and hit delete, and it will delete it um, across on all of your devices. So that's a very nice update, and I think this is just another reason to update to iOS 5.1. So for the iPhone 4S, they updated Siri and added Japanese to her language list. So now she'll be able to talk and interact in Japanese, so that would be pretty cool. Personally, uh, it's not in much need for me, but for some of you out there, it will be. Now for the iPad, they did a very needed update, I think, for the camera, a different way of using it. So as you can see, when you open the camera and you're ready to take a picture, the camera button is no longer awkwardly placed on the bottom middle of your screen. It is now moved to kind of floating to the right, easy access where your thumb is. So you can easily press that and take the picture. You're not having to reach clear across the screen to the bottom. So I think that's a very nice upgrade and this was needed. So hopefully the new features that I have showed you guys today will help you decide if you should update or not. Personally, I think you should. I think it is worth it. But for all of you jailbreak users, um, don't upgrade just yet because they do not have an untethered jailbreak for uh, iOS 5.1. But when they do, of course, I'll be doing a video on it. So stay, make sure to stay tuned for that. And I think that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit the like button down there below if this video helped you out and it was enjoyable to you. And I will catch you guys next time. See you later.